Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to the pre-match press conference between East Bengal and Kerala Blasters. With us, we have today Coach Kima and player Hongi Pong, and we are now open for the questions. Honestly, I don't think so, because uh, for us every game is very hard, very difficult, uh, whether we are playing at home or away. I think that East Bengal has a very good team, very good coach. They started a nice season, playing, uh, playing good in uh, the Enduran Cup. So I think that many clubs, almost all the clubs, they are still in a moment of finding themselves, finding best solutions, uh, because the competition just started, even we are five games away already. But I expect that all the teams start playing normal and good football from January. So there will be many improvisations, many modifications throughout the period now, after the break as well, because there are three clubs playing in uh, Champions League and AFC. I think that still we didn't see the best football from all the clubs. All the clubs, they are still in a period of you know, finding solutions. And I think that, like all the clubs, East Bengal is also maybe in uh, that moment now, but they are a very good team and uh, for us it will not be easy tomorrow. Coach, don't you think again and again the interruption in I-League proceedings this makes a problem for the clubs? No, because it happens uh, for years and decades now all around the football like that. Because when the season starts, you know that there are games that you play in competition and then in all worldwide competitions there are cups implemented in the league. So it means the moment you start, then you have like two, three games in competition, then you play a cup game, then you play two, three games in competition, you have Champions League, you have national teams. And it happens for decades worldwide. Here it's different system. So I think that when there are breaks, it can help players. It can help teams to develop more, to build up more. The fact that some players, they go for national teams. Yeah, because they have quality, they deserve to be there. But for the clubs, it's even better because when you are on a longer term, it gives you more time to improve. So I think there is nothing wrong with that. And I think that one day it will happen that ISL uh, has a format of together in one whole long season, ISL, Cups, whatever you call, uh, I don't know, Duran Cup, Super Cup, Confidential, Masala, whatever. You have these competitions all together and in between you have national teams, you have Asian Cups. You have to deal with it. The clubs have to deal with it and that's how you improve players in the team. So, personally, there is nothing wrong with it. Like all the clubs, we uh, neither. Uh, since we started our pre-season in uh, July, uh, we never trained with the full squad. Not the once. Okay. All the clubs, they receive players and they at the end sign players and the players arrive late in the pre-season. At the end of uh, at the end of pre-season, it happened with us as well, like in any clubs. Many clubs, so majority of clubs, 99% of clubs, they don't have full squad in Duran Cup. Duran Cup is unnecessary competition for all ISL clubs. It's good cup for the youth, to develop the youth. Because in that period, you don't have full squad, you cannot train properly, you have no infrastructure. It's a waste of time. Okay? Then, when all the clubs are getting players late before the competition, end of transfer window, it needs time. But then you have to start competition. So it needs time and the teams then have to build up throughout the games. You have to find uh, the best possible way. Many players, they suffer when they come to India due to climate, due to adaptation, due to many other things. Then Duran Cup, which is competition cup, 
it brings injuries, what happened with us as well. So then you lose key, key players. So far in the first five games in our competition, we never played with the strongest team. So you are missing players. Then during the preseason, uh, National Federation also decided to have these windows. So then you send five of your players to national team. You don't have a full squad for preseason. So there are many things that are uh, disrupting your period of preparation. So that's why many clubs now they're still suffering and they're still trying to find a way. I think that us, like the others, we will still suffer going through that period of finding and putting these puzzles on the spot. And I suppose that many clubs from January after that break or even after Asian Cup will start playing some decent football, showing something because many clubs with this format now suffering. So the second question was about the VRR technology. It's been now, uh, honestly, uh, I'm coming from uh, Europe, okay, in the country where I live since 2005, Belgium. Uh, now it's been seven years we are using VR technology. In many countries worldwide, it's already the third generation of VRR technology. So uh, it's needed, it's necessary for the improvement of the league, uh, for the referees as well, because I will never have nothing personal against the referees. They're good guys, they're do, trying to do their best. But somehow I feel that they are not supported by the Federation and by the, this referees organization, providing them the best possible technology to make their life easier and to make the league better. So that's the next, next step of improvement. So we all want that to happen. You know, uh, our statements, everything, because we see game after game that there are mistakes, there are bad decisions, and many clubs, they are on the bad end of that. You know, you're losing points, you're losing rankings. And then at the end, the, what, what I'm afraid that uh, maybe people from football, uh, coaching staff, medical staff, players, medias, uh, fans, which will be bad, start losing interest, okay? So then you have two options, you watch on TV and then we see you'll say, why should I watch this nonsense? I change the channel, okay? Or I don't want to go to stadium because there is no thing, like these things are needed. If you see already six, seven years in all possible competition around the world that you have that technology and we don't have it, you know, it will start in killing the spirit of the game. And I'm afraid of that, you know, I, I like this league. I like being here, so I wish that that happens. It will help referees to improve and it will uh, push the league and the level of the game on a higher level and it will benefit everybody. The teams, the players, the coaches, the league, the fans, everybody, it will be better. So hope that it will happen soon. Uh, you know this, um, coming back to the tomorrow's game, uh, you have uh, seen the five players as well as the last match and uh, realize performing second half brilliantly. Uh, so what you take, what, what was the recipe of that? What you have uh, worked with the team and um, how you rate your opponent as you last met them last year, uh, you lost the game here. So how you rate your opponent this, this year? Good, maybe it's a better question for Hormi for that about the second half, how they performed. <laughs> you know, uh, when you are, uh, there are moments in the game, uh, different moments when you are uh, leading on a score or running after the score. You know, it happened many times last year when we had to turn over the result. So, uh, many things, mindset, mentality, uh, team spirit, even uh, missing players, we never complained about that because they are youngsters, they have to step up, you know, in a way to uh, grow up, in a way to become a serious uh, football players on a serious level, I'd say, they have to step up, they have to make that uh, challenge, accept the challenge and so now even we have young players who are capable of playing in the different positions. Uh, players we are missing, yeah, that's the, the situation, the circumstances that you, have, that you have to deal with and gladly I give chance to another players, young players to show themselves because it will increase their level of, of uh, football qualities and like that they will become uh, better players. So, okay, that's the, that's the situation, we have tomorrow's game. Last year, like I say, for us, every game is difficult. We have no easy games. Whether we play home or away, we have to fight for our points. Since I arrived in the third season, we never got points offered. For every point, we, for every victory, we had to fight really hard. So, last year here, it was uh, in the second part of the season, we lost the game. Uh, like I said, it's a tough game. It's a good team. 
you know. East Bengal is a very good team, so uh, for us it will not be easy. We will try to do our best and I like uh, always like to say, let the better team win. So. <laughs> Yes, could be, could be, but knowing that feeling and the players who used to play uh, in Kolkata, which is, uh, which is a huge part of Indian uh, football culture, yeah, in some situations it can help. Tomorrow, of course, due to suspension, we will be missing Prabir Das, Pritam is with us. So, uh, you know, you're always glad to have this kind of players with experience who can, uh, who can bring something to your team. So, let's hope that tomorrow it will be the case. I think that this year uh, East Bengal has more quality uh, on individual and collective basis. Uh, maybe uh, the kind of moment they had after the Durham Cup final, uh, but it doesn't mean nothing. You know, there are also clubs in the previous years who started the league not on a group, let's say, not great, but yet later they catch up and they went uh, up the table. So it doesn't mean nothing. So I think that the league is uh, just started. And many clubs uh, can still, uh, you know, climb up, build up. Even us last year, uh, we had first victory and then three defeats. And then yet you managed to get eight or nine games, you know, with victories, without defeat. And then you can... So it doesn't mean nothing. I think it's still a good team. They have quality, you know, they have good organization. A dangerous team. So we have to be very aware of that. A question for Riva. So how has been your experience? Experience. So, tell us how has been that experience? Yeah, he's a senior player. I still learn uh, more to learn from him, and I feel comfortable. Uh, his guidance, some, yeah, I feel good. Yeah. Is 
So do you think that the preparation for winter games already started for you? Because we saw a lot of time in the past that it is in the very finishing stage actually Kerala World Cup. That means that sometimes the, sometimes the choking comes. So what what do you think about that to rectify that kind of thing? Mentality in the yeah, but it's a very important part of a football game. You know, uh, when you see young boys starting uh, shooting the ball around the house on the playing grounds, talent, it's only 5% of your football career, future football career, okay? And that talent uh, can be uh, scouted and scanned by certain people. Then when you start serious job in the football, these 5% of your talent gives you maybe some advantage uh, in front of other kids, but then, hard work, commitment, dedication, character, mental part. These are the things that are most important in a football. If you look today and you speak about big stars, Messi, Ronaldo, all these uh, guys, you know, they are one of a kind. But if you see every football team in the world, maybe you see one star and you see many hardworking players, you know, which are mental strong, mentally prepared for the game, and hard worker guys, and this is how it goes in football. So, of course, whenever you prepare the games, you prepare your team not only physically, but prepare also mentally, how to approach certain situations, how to approach certain parts of the games. Of course, uh, many times some players during the game, there are mistakes, there are how we, how we call uh, decision-making moments when you make wrong decision, and that leads to conceded goals or score goals. So, we know that we have to deal with those moments. Because we have, uh, I think, 13 year old, we have the again very young team, many young players, and of course, you want them to grow up, you want them to experience that. You know that they will be going through those moments of mistakes, but this is the way how they learn. And we, as a club, as a team, we deal with that, we know because it's for their own good. So, as a coach, you deal with it. So, thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.